Yes, uh, coming to this question, you know, this is very critical today in the world that we live. But one of the things the scripture says in Peter, you know, devil is a, like a roaring lion moving around to catch believers. And uh, that's the target of the enemy. And the target of the enemy is the believers and who have been saved, who have been carrying the anointing more than the people who are in the world. People who are in the world is already his side. So he's trying to populate hell. The devil is trying to populate hell. So he needs somebody who is not on his side trying to pull. Now when you see devil is so busy to steal and to kill and to destroy, is moving around, how much we should be alert? Now you've been trained in a passion ministry somewhere in Mysore or in Manipal or Unsur or any other church member. It may not be only the passion ministry. But you grew in that area. God changed you, transformed you. And you grew in that area where you learned the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Where you have been anointed, you have been proved by God. You must be very careful because in that environment you are able to grow. It's like a seed. Some seeds that if they grow in India will never grow in some other country. Some seeds can grow in the soil of India or the atmosphere or the humidity or the the cool area or the atmospheres. They can grow in some areas. If they put the same seed in some area, it won't grow. The spiritual life is something different. You add an atmosphere, an amazing atmosphere where you had opportunities, where you heard the word of the Lord, where you had a people who can love you and who can go according to your mindset, in that mindset, in that atmosphere, you are able to grow in the Lord. You should never miss the fellowship. Even if you are going to some other city where there is no CPC ministry, find that kind of places like a churches where you can grow. You must be watchful of your spirit because the devil is like a roaring lion going around. His target is to spoil, especially who's been anointed. If you're anointed, you are more attracted to the devil. If you're called by God, you're more attracted to the devil. Right? And uh, so you need to be really connected to a church that has the same DNA of you know, growing in the spirit of the Lord, moving with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know what I'm talking. You know, even find some church like that. We don't mind, but you be part of it. The other way you can connect is always these days social media. You can connect in YouTube or through anything, calling pastors or elders or always getting in touch, even if you're working in some other ministry. That will keep the DNA connected all the time. Okay. And the other thing I, I would tell, if you if you are close to one of our ministry locations, I would always suggest to go and serve in that location. Yeah, you might say, I'm busy and I'm here and there and I have a different things. Yes. What happens, you change the atmosphere and you are growing in a different way. So always the atmosphere changes your mind, changes your heart, and then you ultimately after a few years or a few months or a few years, you completely lost the vision. Losing the vision is a dangerous thing that you pay. Never in a call of the Lord and the anointing of the Lord is something from heaven. You won't get it in this world. But when God gives once, you must protect it. It's more valuable than the gold or silver you have. Call of God is from God, from heaven. The inspiration that you had, the encouragement you had, you would never receive anywhere. And losing the treasure, and if you lose a small ring, a gold ring, how much you feel painful. So many days you won't even eat because a gold valuable ring you lost somewhere. You lost your mobile. You lost something valuable thing. What about the call of the Lord? You must honor it. You must respect it and let it grow every day.